So Ben, what are we unloading from the car here? <laughs> well, you see, today is Saturday, which is yard sailing day for us to get inventory for our eBay store. And John decided today <laughs> would be a good day to fill our car with a thousand DVDs. Why not? We, we just got rid of all the other ones. <laughs> like a year and a half ago so we have some vhs tapes but we have mostly dvds oh i don't know if, oh i like that this is a good one to grab right off the top i've seen this <laughs> not just dvds and vhs's we have tons of blu-rays yeah there are some stray xbox games in here and why don't you tell them what we paid for them uh this entire car load of dvds and vhs's was uh 70 dollars yeah the ladies were charging Asked, I asked how much for everything. I think we took them off guard. Yeah. They had them originally priced five for a dollar, and you go, what, what would you take for everything? And they go, five dollars a box. So but that we consolidated boxes. So it's going to take all winter for you to figure out what we have in this car. Yes. Yeah, so if you want movies, you know, stay tuned to our eBay store this <laughs> fall. I should be able to start listing them once I figure out what we have. <laughs> Yep, there are more here. Good thing Tegan's at Grammy's house. Yeah. We left Tegan at the yard sale. <laughs> we traded him for the movies. <laughs> there are more down here. Yeah. All right, now we got to bring it in the house. And Ben just cleaned out the corner right here. Mm -hmm. We had a big yard sale about a month ago. Because all our, all our cleaning during lockdown, we put all the yard sale stuff in this corner. And as you can see, it's nice and clean. Our... our Water pump is not blocked by anything. Yeah, if we had an issue, we could actually turn the water off if we had to. It's becoming like a yearly thing for us. Isn't this like the third summer going around this exact same time? Yeah. Where we end up filling half the basement with boxes of... <laughs> Something. <laughs> yeah. Check out this vintage Gremlins VHS. Yeah. It's crazy. A lot of, a lot of stuff in here. So stay tuned to the vlog channel for an ongoing series of how many movies <laughs> are in these boxes. We don't even know. I'm unpacking these bags. I'm going to say 478. What do you think? Um, Keep in mind, they're mostly, they're mostly disc-based. There are very few VHSs, but there are some. I'm going to go 600. You think 600? You're going higher than me? Yeah, I'm going to go 600. You're 478. I'm 600. Okay, let us know down in the comments if there are comments. Uh, how many you think we ended up with? And then yeah. stay tuned throughout the winter to see how many we actually have. <laughs> there are a couple that are all kind of... Yeah. Not a lot. I've only seen a couple. I think what happened was like, it got condensation inside. Mm -hmm. They were probably sitting in a cellar or a garage. Luckily, the tapes don't seem moldy, but check this out. You remember the animated uh, Charlotte's Web? Yeah, like I watched a, it a lot. Yeah, it was like a Hanna Barbera thing. Yeah. But look on the back here; it says "purchased at McDonald's." <laughs> Do you remember when you could purchase VHSs at McDonald's? Not really. No. It was before your time. Well, I think they probably had them, but I was probably pretty young. Okay, so here we have a huge haul of DVDs. We did record us the day we bought these. It must have been over a month ago now. They've been just sitting here. We have no idea exactly how many we have. We paid $70 for everything. There's tons of DVDs in there. I think it's mostly DVDs, but there's also Blu-rays, there's VHSs, there's some video games. So the time has come. We're going to move them into the other room, try to sort them out. And you guys try to think of a number in your head. <laughs> and uh, try to uh, guess how many we might have. Let's see there. How many of these banana boxes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this is a skinny box. So we have nine boxes of Blu-rays, VHS, video games, and DVDs. So leave in the comments how many you think we have. And at the end of the video, we are going to show the final results. Yes. I can't believe how heavy these boxes are with all these DVDs and Blu-rays. So many trips when it's laid out one box high, you know, not stacked. There are so 
many movies here. Now, originally John said 478 and I said 600 and hint, we are way off. <laughs> Here's the most exciting find. It's everyone's favorite, Barnes. <laughs> Legacy of Wood and Stone. It's literally a video tape about Barnes from <laughs> Vermont Public Television. Yeah, um, that's gonna I bet that's going to be a heavy hitter. That's going to pay for everything right there. Oh, goodness. I remember, do you remember when it was such a big deal that E.T. came out on VHS? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm old. Well... E.T. came out, what, the year I was born? The movie itself, and it was years and years. It didn't come out to, it came out in 1982. It wasn't released on video till 1988. It was a huge deal. I was six, so I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> all right, now that we've gotten the workout of bringing all of these in. So how are we going to organize these? Well, let's just uh, take a box. Maybe this white one in the corner. Start going through that. Okay. And start making our piles of DVD, Blu-ray, and VHS. Sounds good. Okay. All right, we have finally, finally taken all of the DVDs and the Blu-rays out of all of those boxes and have semi-sorted them. So we have all of the Blu-rays here, no particular order. We have some VHS over there and over here. Uh, we have Christmas, um, religious type stuff, sports, um, John Wayne, <laughs> Westerns, um, uh, war type movies here, like military and stuff. We have like BBC and documentaries, kids stuff, um, like a miscellaneous, uh, kind of comedy, kind of, you know, like that, like comedy drama stuff, TV shows. Like, these are all TV sets. Um, some horror movies. And then some more, like, miscellaneous ones down here. So, that's that's what we got. I want to count them to see how many we have. So that I know, um, roughly, how much per DVD slash Blu-ray that we have into this. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Then John can start listing all he wants. So I wanted to give some totals of what we had. For the Blu-rays, we had 287 Blu-rays, 8 video games, 32 VHS, 265 DVDs that are Western John Wayne and war themed, and then we have 524 kids, horror, TV shows, movies, docu-series. Holy moly. So we have a total of 1,116 pieces of media. And that equals out to six cents a DVD. So we have six cents into this. So now John gets to start making his drafts. He wanted to draft these and now he can. I mean, we're both going to be, but he's very excited to start picking away at these piles. So we have it all organized. Isn't that exciting? I'm so proud of us. Okay, so today I'm going to be working on listing some of these and National Geographic style documentaries. I won't get through all of these and I can guarantee that probably very few of them are worth <laughs> anything too valuable, but we're going to list them 
and uh, see how many of these we can get online today. Okay, so I have listed or created drafts anyway for these documentaries. The only one that I found that was worth anything was The Spy in the Wild, one and two. Uh, together, I listed those for $20 with free shipping. The other ones are the rest of just $5.99 with free shipping. Now I'm going to move on to all of these um, horror movies. <laughs> so we have Ghost Stories, Pie Watch It, why Pie Walk? I don't know what that is. The Boy, Beyond the Gates, and The Midnight Man. So as you can tell, I have multiple copies of all of these. So it shouldn't take too long to get all of these ones listed online. So that's what I'm going to work on next. I don't know if these are worth anything either. But we're going to whittle away at our DVD haul. So as you have been watching, we have been sorting and organizing and listing all of the DVDs and Blu-rays. We still have a lot to go, uh, but John spent the other day, a full day, I mean probably 16 hours. He was home from work and it was kind of, it was a very cold day. We didn't want to go anywhere. So he spent 16 hours probably listing Blu-rays and he listed every single one of the Blu-rays that we purchased in this big lot. It was well over a hundred. I'll give you the total uh, up here on the screen that this many Blu-rays and um, granted there were a whole bunch of sets of like two you know two or three or like we have duplicates you know so there were a lot of Blu-rays to go through but he went through every single one and now I'm working on taking the pictures and putting them away and it's going really really well I'm I'm so thankful he did that because <laughs> he's just cruising through I don't know why but he could cruise through DVDs and blu-rays so fast so that is what we are on right now and we are selling them we have actually reached um, even, so we have earned our $75 back. We are now just making profit off of all of these Blu-rays and DVDs, which is great. Uh, it's very much needed right now because these are really all we're selling on eBay right now. <laughs> Mostly just these Blu-rays and DVDs. So I'm trying to get them done as soon as possible because they are being stored in our other room and I really need our other room back. So... That's what we're working on. And I hope you enjoy all of my wonderful pictures. <laughs> Welcome to my closet. <laughs> so I have sold some of these Blu-rays, so I need to shift things so I can put the ones that I'm taking pictures of now up here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you can <laughs> see how I shift them. They were all, uh, so the reason why I know I could do this is because when John drafted all of these Blu-rays, he did them in alphabetical order. So I know that, that I don't have any more to put at the end. They're all going to be at the beginning. So I can just keep shifting them over as I sell them. Uh, granted, I will sell them slower than I'm listing them. So I will have to deal with this mess <laughs> probably pretty soon. But let's not worry about it right now. Let's uh, put these... G Blu-rays away. They all start with the letter G. So I have to rearrange this top row first and I can barely reach so um, good thing you can't see me on my tippy toes. I have to shove these over a little. in here but I don't know where it went <laughs> okay. so now I can move these ones up here three more maybe maybe one more okay now well, I guess you could still see okay now I'm gonna all these over here. 
I mean, you get the idea. It's basic, you know, storing your stuff alphabetically. That's how it works. I don't know how many people store their movies alphabetically. I do. <laughs> this one goes here. Oh, it's because it's front. Front line. It wasn't in the wrong spot. I thought it was called Heroes, not Frontline Heroes. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. There are those. Now, I can start putting in the ones I just took pictures of. All right, now I have room. Oh, you didn't see that. I just put them here. <laughs> so now I have room to take a few more pictures uh, and put list those, and then I'm gonna have to deal with this. You probably can't see it very well because I have stuff blocking it, but these, all of these are lauded DVDs from two or three years ago that we still haven't sold. Uh, so we're going to probably, we're going to take these down, put these somewhere else, probably in a box or something. I don't know where yet. Uh, so I could put Blu-rays here because we're not really not selling these super fast. So they're probably going to end up in the yard sale. But, uh, anyway, that we'll do that later. We have a little bit more room for Blu-rays right here. So we're going to go do that. My helper, my helper wants to, uh, jump in my arms again. Can you say good morning to everybody, kittykins? No. Meow. Well, she could hear her cute little meow. <laughs> so these are, oh, oh, okay. All right, okay, up you go. These are the Blu-rays I still have. This section, this section, these DVDs John has listed, and these Blu-rays here in, in that one. So I still have plenty to do. And, uh, so, let's get picture taken, I guess. Alright, so I guess I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I don't really think there's ever going to be an end to processing all of these. <laughs> uh, so, I think this is going to be it. You know, we have made our money back off from our $70 investment in over a thousand DVDs and Blu-rays. And that's really all we can ask for. And they are not high value movies at all, but we've recouped our cost and we are earning a little bit off from each and every one of them. So to me, that makes it worthwhile. So I'm happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this really clunky <laughs> look at how we went through all of these DVDs and these Blu-rays. And I have a, another video coming out very shortly where I went to the Goodwill and thrifting at the bins all on my own without John. So keep an eye out for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.